Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Riverlore, and welcome back to Icarus. So when last we left our intrepid adventurer, I was getting my ass handed to me by a very mean, nasty, tough grizzly. And um, we had to bug out there. Uh, thankfully, he was tethered to a spot and went back to where he belonged, and I was able to run like a sissy all the way home. Um, I have uh, taken a bit of time to replenish everything. Uh, you'll see here that I've created a second uh, wood bow. Uh, I'm stubborn. I do not want to create another uh, long bow um, as I don't really necessarily, like I was saying, I don't think the durability on it is significantly more. And this has the added advantage of just being able to re be repaired out in the field. Uh, rather than having to be tied to uh, the anvil. Um, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but last episode, uh, I had uh, oxite miraculously disappearing. It happened to me twice where I put oxide into it and I went to go back and it was just gone. Um, sometimes these uh, this game can be have these weird little glitches and bugs. So uh, sometimes uh, I find that if you just pick the product up and or pick the table that up and put it back down, miraculously it loads properly the second time it's put out and that never that does stuff doesn't happen anymore so i guess we'll see i don't i'm not going to fill it up until i find out exactly what's going on and in the interim we are going to go out into this gloriously beautiful day in icarus in the realm of sticks and we are going to go kill ourselves a big mean nasty grizzly bear also made some adjustments to volume levels hopefully my voice is uh, still coming through nice and strong but not overpowering i was finding that uh, some of the background noise from the storms uh and battles and stuff like that was kind of washing out my voice a little bit so i've turned those levels down a little bit we'll see how it goes um in my quest to become better uh, I've been working uh, with uh, working on um, improving my thumbnails a little bit and getting more of a kind of a standard layout and uh, so I spent some time on that figuring it out and um, I have my second episode out if I'm not mistaken my second episode has some video editing done <laughs> nothing uh, astronomical but I sped, I sped up the uh, time it took me to harvest a rock so I'm sure all of you got to listen to uh, my squeaky voice um, I guess one of the things I'm gonna have to do is uh, make sure that I'm not talking when I'm going through those rocks or else do my gathering off camera either or so um, Okay, I believe that he's up over this ledge here. In preparation of something going wrong. Oh, I hear you, you bastard. I hear you, you bastard. In preparation of something potentially going wrong, I think that I am going to... and then we can run up and pick it up if we have to oh these guys are just terrifying Ole! damage 
that is for sure. I think that's the kick that I heard. I cannot handle it. Oh, see? Oh, yes, sneaky bastards. Shooting uphill. Can we start this way, please? There we go. I want to get out here a little bit, I think. This guy is tough. This bow is only is almost done. So I think I made the right call. What the is going on. Please die. Oh no. Is going on. <sighs> oh. Folks, come on. I heard another bear, guys. him oh my heart is just pounding I hear you you bugger Wow if you guys could feel the, my heart beating in my chest right now I think that's why we all play these frickin' games. What? A second one? No, no, no. Hopefully he goes away, because I don't want to go through that again. What do we have? Oh, look. Frickin' avocados again. A crossbow and some iron bolts. So infuriating. It's so random. Um, I am not going to fight that other one. I wonder if he's still there. Now, let's just go have a peek and see if that other bear is there. Or if he's... I wonder why it spawned a second one. Hopefully. Oh, he's still there. 
Well, hopefully when I log out and log back in, he disappears. That would be really, really, really nice. We're going to grab our ramp here and we're going to head back home. Um, let's oh, just one second, folks. Apologize for that. <clears throat> I forgot to notify my wife that I was uh, doing a video. Okay, let's get the heck back to our shop. So that got us level 15. <clears throat> so now that we are level 15, uh, what we're going to do is I think we're going to get some rock. And I think we're going to start doing some collecting now. Yay! Still pounding. <clears throat> Absolutely crazy. That was so much fun. But I would have been really buggered if that second bear jumped in. We're going to stay away from that neck of the woods for a little while, <laughs> to say the least. I think. That, uh, that was one tough bear. Um, okay, so I think... Is that a cave? And did I run past my home? Hmm. It is a cave. I am in G8. I completely ran past my home. Apologies, folks. I think what we're going to do here is we are going to... We're going to collect 100 stone. This isn't a very big... it out but I think what we are gonna do since we do have a little bit of room here here we go that puts us overweight sort Crafting, let's craft one of these. And I think that we're going to go down to the river's edge. And place one of these. And that should let me know to look for that, hopefully. Um, so we want to go down to, back down to G9. Do, do, do. Actually, sorry, back up to G8. Let's go this way. I don't know how I overran my ramp. 
I think I was still too amped up over the fight. Oh, there we are right there. I'm going to say that was it. do this get some food buffs again oh, oh. I think that's the first piggly wiggly I've seen here First or second, anyways. Well, guys, I'm at the top of G8. I have clearly gone the wrong way. I, uh, <laughs> I feel like a bit of an ass here, guys. I can't believe I'm lost in Icarus. Oh, my God. Okay, let's get up here. Uh-huh. Let's put this down. gentlemen what the heck is going on I didn't cross the creek Here's our cave. Hmm. Wish I could whip out my GPS. That's uh, that's another question. Actually, you know what? Now that uh, this really brings up an interesting point, I think it's in the Tech Tree Tier One. They have this stone cairn, and I know that you can place them and you can write a spec on it, but it doesn't really leave a mark on the map or anything else like that. So what good is it? Here we are. I ran right past that mine all that time and didn't know it was there. There's our ramp. Apologies for the uh, inconvenience here, guys. Riveting, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and put back what we have. Sort. We're going to go ahead and delete or destroy all these. We don't really need them. Let's go right back in there. Bada ping. Bada boom. Let's cook some bacon. Love it. There we go. Now, as far as the crossbow goes, movement speed is only 15%. 25%. I, you know what? I actually don't think that I've ever used a crossbow. So I think I want to 
try this out. And I'm assuming that you're gonna, oh, look at that. Oh. How much damage did I do there? Oh. Nope. Definitely not for me. So I'll be destroying that and taking whatever I... It's kind of cool, but it certainly doesn't do a significant amount of damage. Especially for the resources that I think it takes to make. I mean, yeah, it did do 300. Well, you know what? I guess it's doing twice as much damage as my bow. Hmm. All right. So what are we going to get out of this? Let's turn our fire off if we go ahead and destroy this. Do, do. Right click, destroy, six iron ingots, some nails, destroy, yeah, let's do it. I need all the iron I can get for nails. Bacon's almost cooked. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Destroy. Bada boom. Bada boom. One more bacon. And then I think uh, we're going to go out and get some rock. And I am going to need to learn because we are level 15, let's go to tier two, go all the way down to the end. And we're gonna learn that, and we're gonna learn stone. <clears throat> we're gonna learn the carpentry bench, uh, because I need the carpentry bench for the beehive. I was very much hoping that I might get like a work table or something like that. Like I know that I've gotten them in the past, uh, so. I was hoping that we would get something like that from our quest. Let's go ahead and put this in there, and then we're gonna take our, did I take our bacon out of there? Nope. <clears throat> take our bacon. We'll get that extra XP bonus going, and we'll go from there. Go ahead and leave that rock there. You know what? Um, with the points that I have into speedy mining, uh, it actually doesn't take that much time at all to go through these rocks. If you look at how I'm chewing this rock up with only an iron pick, Imagine what it's like with a titanium one. Uh, when I use a titanium pick, I just chew through things. Kind of like, uh, was it, who was the one from Invincibles? Was it Jack-Jack? Well, Jack-Jack is a super powerful one. The fast kid. That's who I, uh, that's who I am when I'm mining. Very clear that I need some more stamina. And already I've broken the rule about talking when I'm mining a rock, so when I video edit, I don't sound like a chip on. So this one's gonna stay in the video.
I'm very curious. They brought in some NPCs into Prometheus. I wonder if they'll keep on building up these environments. Alright, so we need 120 nails. Let's just do 300, or 300 nails. Let's do that. We got some logs going. We're good. Let's get the rest of the table in there. So 12 and 80, I think. This seventy five, and that should give it to us. There we go. Did I make my shovel? Yes, I did. I'm going to have to repair the building here in a moment anyway, so I think I'm going to do a little something. So what my temporary plan is here, folks, is I'm going to just basically secure this. Um, secure this to stop it from getting damaged by any storms. Clearly, I'm back far enough into here. I forgot that uh, we're not going to take any damage. But I think that when the level four storms come through here or uh, the level five, the orange ones, uh, that it, there's a very real likelihood that it's going to take some damage. And so we're just going to go ahead and secure this. And then what this will allow me to do is I'm going to be able to use the reuse the building uh, as a shit check for my uh, animal that I'm going to get here relatively soon as soon as I have the points to put into that. Crafting. Okay, so I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five. Five more. Craft five. ABC, ladies and gentlemen. ABC. Alright, 
Now, let's go ahead. Craft. And let's do two of these. And we should be safe now from pretty much any of the anything but the worst of storms that go through. And we don't really need to keep this. This is our miscellaneous, so we're gonna like this, and then we're gonna take like that. Let's place this table. Let's take some nails. Let's take some wood. Um, let's take some uh okay. That reminds me there is one other thing that I need to do. Mm -hmm. And let's grab the stone. All right, so rock, dude, dude, and some leather. <clears throat> so let's do nine roofs and twelve walls. Tech tree, tier two. And then we are going to go and do the lantern. Game changer. One, two, three, four. I think it takes eight each. And... I have that good. Take a drink of water, a little bit of genuine high quality H2O. Did I make my Pardon me. Voila, look at that light. That's good light. Let's put this on the miscellaneous. 120 nails should be done. these 
So these are pretty much essentials at level 15 as far as I'm concerned. The word working bench, um, of course, not only can you do nicer quality floors and everything else like that, but a lot of stuff that you manufacture now uh, really genuinely requires um, that you have the uh, refined wood. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and eat some more food. Get some bonus XP for crafting. And these actually should be done as well. So let's go ahead and equip our hammer. For those of you who have done this before, you know what you're doing. For those of you who haven't, um, instead of having to take each piece down individually and put them all back into place with the new built and the new stuff like stone in this instance, you can actually go into your selection wheel while you have your hammer equipped, come over, select stone, and then you can just right click. And it automatically swaps everything out for you. The other thing that it does in that case is that it takes and puts the th puts the um, previous stuff right into your inventory so that you can go ahead and So there we go, nothing fancy, very, very minimal, but with the dirt foundations and the stone body, um, like I said, all but the most fiercest of storms uh, we should be equipped for. I do plan building something here, uh, but I think that that is something that I'm going to take a look at off screen in order to get some thoughts and ideas and then build off of that. Um, do me a favor, guys, and um, let me know. Well, I don't know if I'll have this out quick enough. Maybe I'll put out a couple of extra videos here. Go ahead and let me know in the uh, comments whether you would like to actually see me build uh, a place. So the idea of being here... Oh. This will be an interesting test to see. The building's not gonna take any damage, but uh, what I plan on doing is actually, one of the things you need for a lot of your benches is water. And so if you have water, um, your concrete bench will work faster. Uh, recipes into your stoves will work faster on the higher level furnaces and stuff. So you need a water pump and you need a water source. I, I believe the water in the pool at the back of this cave is deep enough for me to be able to put it there and then I can just literally run a cable right out and into my house. And that is, of course, as opposed to going all the way from the river. Oh no. Well, look at what we caught on camera. I think that this is going to be a screenshot. Now let's see if I can actually catch. Oh, I'm gonna go like this. Come on. Oh, we're almost there. Bear with me, guys. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, we got one more chance. Where's the... Nope. All right. Of course I missed it. Oh, wow. It was an idea. It wasn't a very good one, but it was a... Ah, oh, crap. Isn't it like that? Even in real life with a real camera, you can never... I'm going to have a lot of screenshots to delete there. Uh, anyways, so yeah, rather than running the water pump all the way down from the creek and bringing it up the hill... Um, we are going to just do it from the cave and build back from the cave. So let me know in the comments whether you want me to uh, build that on camera or whether you want me to uh, build it um, 
build it off camera. Okay. Now, where are we? Oh yes, we are going to build a beehive. And there is a, a motive to my madness. And I'll show you here in a quick second. And then we need 10 of these. Okay, sort. There it is. Now the beehive is actually used for many, many, many different things. There is a honeyed bacon recipe at level 20 um, when you use the, uh, the smoker. Um, in tier three, there is a, uh, a smoker that is, uh, that you can make and it's an excellent, excellent recipe. It gives you a lot of benefits. Um, and so that uses one type of, uh, the, the honey. Um, if you take a look at the antibiotic tonic, um, with this one, you have to go out and you have to make epoxy and epoxy is really, really valuable. Uh, and you need a lot of bone to be able to make it all. Anybody who's played this game for any long period of time has used, a, you know, had to make a ton of antibiotic or epoxy and um, you don't want to waste it. So I find this recipe here, honey is super easy to collect and make. You just put some bees into a beehive and wait. So three charcoal and three honeycombs uh, is a very, very, very inexpensive. So now that we've made that, Let's go ahead and let's put it right over here if we can find a nice flat spot. And then let's go ahead and put our bees in. And voila, that is all there is to it. There are attachments that you can get in particularly. This one is a good one. Um, but uh, when you actually get this attachment here, you can put a queen in here and it'll actually make worker bees so it's by far the easiest and the best way uh, to get um, to get those honeycombs there's a new type of wood of course that you can make uh, that requires beeswax which also comes from there and i'm just going to go ahead and put this in here Uh, six, open, tech tree, let's go back to tier two. And I think that we need to go into, all right. So I think what we're gonna do here, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna have a little snooze. And then I think we're gonna go out and collect some flour and make some healing potions. Okay. Let's go ahead and, how much charcoal do we have? Not a heck of a lot. So let's take this out of here. Let's put this in there and let's just let it burn down. I don't think we need that. The second bow, so let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's see what else we got for a quest here while we're at it. Mining hard or scan medium. You know what? I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that one and we'll see if I might I have a little trick up my sleeve. Uh, we definitely need to go and collect some more rock and maybe while we're at it, collect some wheat.
really really big rocks I have a a way that I prefer to process them it's completely not necessarily but let's take a look at what I can do here all right we're gonna start getting a little bit more when we go mining I don't know if anybody else does it this way, and I don't think anybody else. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. It's just, I guess it breaks up a little of the monotony for myself. I make it into a little game. did catch any lightning. I guess you guys will see because it will be the screenshot. It will be the thumbnail. I mean about how quickly actually you know like as opposed to when you first start the game with that little stone pick and if you just have normal speed when you're picking this takes considerably longer putting those three points into the pick makes all the difference in the world on how quickly you can process nodes Remember that we still have to collect some wheat when we're out and about. Some healing potions would definitely be advantageous. losing my mind man I'm losing my mind okay we're gonna need some more nails so let's make another 20 more 200 more let's come into here and let's make Doing good there. Look at all this processing we have going on, eh? I think we might take Fisky Poo up on his uh, 
on on his offer. I don't know if any of you guys know it or not, but there's a streamer out there by the name of Fisk, awfully entertaining, uh, Swedish gentleman, I believe. Very very funny as a ragtag group of friends that he goes out adventuring with, who are also very very entertaining. But he uh, is also a musician, and he. Uh, has some stuff on Amazon Music. It's called Fisk Beats. And um, he actually makes it free for any gamer uh, who wants to, to use his stuff for free, to go out there and... One, two. Um, and uh, I have uh, I even reached out to him personally to, to make sure that that was actually a thing. And he said that uh, it was. So I might take him up on that during these quiet times when there's not a lot going on and we're just puttering around and crafting. Let's put those in there. Mm -hmm. Nine. Actually stop, uh, clear. I think I only actually need eight. There is a method to my madness here, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're all going to see. Okay, I have two points. Let's put those two points into there. I think I need to fill up my water bottle. Is it slow? Here we go. there all of those are created that's great and let's disable this we don't need this so if I'm not mistaken the only thing we need now is some flour oh hey can I actually make myself oh nice 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 I just want to bring a couple of these with me for this quest, just in case I find that I need them. Let's just get one more of them made. It should go directly into my bag when I collect it from here into my uh, medical satchel. But nope, it won't. So that's okay. All right. Let's go and do another quest and let's go ahead and get some more wheat. Whereabouts did it put? Oh, we gotta travel all the way over there. All right, let's see what's going on here, ma'am. Let's see what's going on here. Keep an eye peeled for some wheat. Nope, actually, you know what? Let's get this out for now. Ready? <laughs> That's one of my favorite things in this game to do. Because I don't I don't uh, I don't know if any of you have actually tried it, but just try shooting one of those guys out of the sky with your bow and arrow. You will waste so much. And I just realized that I forgot to fix my pick, so we won't be mining anything. Alright, looks like we're going to go through Detloff's Pass here. Oh, hey, look at this. How fortuitous.
there is something very cathartic about or therapeutic about collecting. I think that's why this game is as popular as it is. are for your endurance potions which I very much wish I had right now so we could run even faster than we are right now this is where it'd be cool to have a mount but I'm so nervous about oh. kidding me come on man wow that is a little ludicrous what a pain in the butt i wonder okay now you see why i carry ramps everywhere i go nope it's not there either this game Sometimes I tell you. You tell me that a guy can't climb just that little bit. Like it's very, very frustrating. <laughs> I thought it was a pain, but I actually think it was that horse. This is a, some kind of distance. I have to travel. And I sure hope that I don't die. How much wheat did I get? Oh, it's got a little bit more. It actually takes a thousand wheat just to make a hundred flour. But that's enough to make us a hundred. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Definitely time to get a mount, guys. I think next episode that's one of the things that we'll work on. And how the heck do we get up there? Hey. What happened? Oh, 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 this game. Let me tell you. Yep. Let me tell you. I don't know. Oh, let's go ahead and put a foundation down here. If nothing else, folks, I sure hope that this is showing you why you need to carry stuff with you, these ramps and stuff like that with you. This is insane. In the membrane. All right. Let's go ahead and watch that take off. Well, here we are. You know what to do? Mm-hmm, I sure do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clear out everything around here. As best as we can. I get oh here we go crafting oh we get to use our fast forward feature 
a lot now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and do this. Sort. And I don't want this stuff even. I know I'm going to have to make room for it. I am not setting myself up for failure in this. Do, 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 do. All right, let's get rid of this rock. For those of you who have played this game before and done this quest before, I'm sure you guys understand and know what I'm doing. I'm 99% sure that somebody is going to tell me how to do it better in the comments. Of course, all of your advice is appreciated and encouraged. But the idea here is that with all of this clutter around the point where I'm going to build my barrier, um, I need to be able to kill stuff or else it'll go right through what I'm putting up and I can't really have that. I wish I had actually created myself a spear now. Because uh, having something long and pointy when you're up on the ramparts certainly comes in handy. Now, something that is really cool here, and that I can use as a recommendation, a lot of people do it. There is a device that you can actually get from the workshop that recalls your landing pod, wherever it may be. And if you have a situation like this where you are gathering and collecting all of this stuff. You and you happen to have one of those. Recalling your ship and loading it up with all of this stuff and then running home and recalling your ship there is a really cool way of not wasting all of this stuff. that was a grizzly or not. I believe it was. Okay, let's go over here. Sort. Crafting. I'm just going to go ahead and destroy that. I don't give a shit. Uh, it wasn't a bear. It was a jaguar. It was two jaguars. And... I'm so cool, I realized I only have 50 arrows, too. Destroy. All I want is... Your bones and your leather, please. Crafting bones. Is 60 arrows going to be enough? Well, I guess we're going to find out.
needless to say, when I took this quest, I was not anticipating this nonsense. There we go. Sort. Crafting. to do this I have no option I should have known better it's not my fault that they brought me this far but I have a feeling that this amount of arrows that I have will not be enough. So let's just All right. What is happening here? Yep, this is a cluster, full on, 100% cluster fuck. All right, let's go ahead, put this up, 
as high as we can get it. Sort. Let's uh, load a new lamp, take a drink of water. Our buffs are new and good. And let's. Oops. And let's place it and turn it on. The unit's ready. Now, despite all the preparation, all I want right now is for this to go without a flaw. Let's go ahead and load our bone arrows up. Okay, 29% and bacon. I love bacon. More bacon. <laughs> All this preparation. Oh, this game. Clear overkill. Now, any of you who have done the crash drone where you have to defend it, it's night and day to this. It's absolute anarchy. I've done tried doing to tried doing the hard version of it twice uh, with Mrs. Rivalora and I've died twice. Aha. Can I uh oh Did we do it? We did it. All right, and what do we have to do now? I think we have to pick it up. Our quest was successful, guys. Let's go ahead and skin and get all the bacon. I apologize profusely for all of the time that this took. Uh, I'm going to destroy this wood. I don't care about it. I'm going to destroy this bone. I don't care about it because I'm about to get a whole bunch more. I don't know why I destroyed that though, but anyways. Uh, I know that there's another pig right here. And because we haven't got a ton of bacon where we were. Uh huh. More bacon. Thank you. Destroy. And let's go ahead and do this. Destroy, destroy. <laughs> of course. Destroy. 
destroy destroy i hate this limited bag space i will be really glad when we get some exotics and we can get the better backpack and such anyways sort crafting max there we go let us at least go and see what we got we got another level and let's put this in here all eight of them yes it is let's skin him destroy 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 take sort crafting max All right, let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Something astounding, right? <laughs> oh, hunter head armor, some cured leather. What is it with the avocado? Yeah, well, we don't have any armor right now, so it is what it is. Destroy. We're going to take this. We're going to take this. Let's put this on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Let's get the heck away from this. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at Riverlore's fancy headgear. Look at that, hey? Woo! Spiffy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. You guys do not want to be around while I collect all my silliness and figure this all out and get back to the cave. Uh, thank you very much for <laughs> coming along with me on this shit show. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. Do me a favor. If you like the video, please go ahead and like. If you want to show me some love, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you know anybody who you think might enjoy this farce, of uh, farcical com content, uh, then please go ahead and share. Uh, be kind to each other, and we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.